saline also or any other suitable fluid. Reason is, once it is taken out, the hair follicle is taken out of the body, it needs a medium in which to survive, otherwise it, it will wear off and it will die. Hair transplant procedure takes about 6 to 8 hours. So, till that time that these follicles are re-implanted into the body, they are stored in chilled saline or chilled finger lactate at 4 degrees centigrade temperature. How will we judge the patient or Yes. Uh, there are two ways in which we can differentiate at that stage. One is a genetic test for hair loss which has been devised. It is not available in India right now. It is available in USA where you can predict with 80% certainty whether you will have hair loss or not. Second, which is easier and which any one of you can do if you have a magnifier is to cut hair in this area and different areas, just a centimeter or so uh, to about 1 millimeter size and then look with a magnifying lens. When a person is having baldness, pattern alopecia, then you will notice some hair which are thick and others which are thin, miniaturizing. If you see the same thing in the lower area, that means this person is not suffering from pattern hair loss, he has generalized hair fall. As a pinching exercise, so it improves the laxity of this area, so a wider strip can be taken out and the healing is fast. The patient's regular test for blood sugar, bleeding time, clotting time, HIV and hepatitis. Apart from this, he should not be taking uh, aspirin, vitamin E or applying minoxidil because all three of them increase bleeding tendency for a period of two weeks before the procedure. For the fuse, we have some a bit more complicated thing because this involves different type of hair. It does not involve only the scalp hair. For the beard hair, the patient should not shave on the day of the procedure. Then only we can take out the hair. So if it comes to a screen shaver, we cannot take out. For the body, because a large number of body hair are in resting place at any one time. So almost 50% of the hair which are body hair are not in actively growing phase. We do not want those hair for transplanting. What we want is actively growing hair. So how do we differentiate that? We differentiate that by asking the patient to shave the body donor area with the razor four days before the procedure. On the fourth day, only the actively growing hair will be seen and the non-growing hair will not be seen. They will be just black dot but no Looks like. I have already shown you the picture it looks like. Plus he will have a bandage on top of his head. For the first 18 hours. After that, no bandage is required. No special care is required. Antibiotics are required for 5 days in the fuse procedure and for 10 days in the strip procedure. From the very next day, he can wash his head. Just he has to be careful that he does not rub the recipient area. Do not put out the transplanted hair. Hum logo ne mehnat karke lagaya hai, hum logo ne paisa karch karke lagaya hai. Pahle 5 mein nikal lenge, toh nikal jaya ga. Then nuke ga nahi. So be careful for the first 7 days. After that, you do not have to do anything. Your patient does not have to worry about anything. That hair will grow for the rest of their life, they do not have to do anything special to maintain it. This hair will not go for after 2 years or after 5 years or anything. You do not need any medication for this hair to keep it. Okay? These are some of the myths that are there about hair transplants. Properly performed hair transplant will not lead to any side effects. It will not affect the memory, it will not affect the eyesight, it will not lead to permanent pain. Because it has to deal only with the superficial skin. We are not going below that. Over four years of research, we found one special thing. That transplanted hair will not change its characteristic. This is another myth that has been spread. That maybe you take out body hair, put it on scalp, maybe it will start growing like scalp. No. Transplanted body hair or any transplanted donor hair does not change its characteristics. 
Therefore, the hair transplant doctor has to be extra careful when he is using different types of hair. He cannot do that put scalp hair in this area only and put beard hair in this area only. The patient will look beard. So they have to form a plan. They have to mix those hairs in such a way. So these are some things which uh, have to be remembered before the patient goes for a transplant. Person, the doctor may also have to see which hair matches which hair and use it accordingly. These are some results. Now what I always encourage patients, because I say hair transplant, this is art as well as a science. So, art ka kaise pata chalega? Art or artistic skills of a person can be made out only by seeing what he has done. So always encourage patients to meet formal patients of any doctor when they are going for a transplant or for that matter any sort of cosmetic surgery. So on last Saturday of every month we hold a free seminar in which any one of you or any of your patients can come and meet actual volunteer patients and see the results first. We cannot go without the care. Okay? Such a patient is treatable. Unless you tell them, they will think that this is what hair transplant is like and they will never take corrective action. We can treat them now and they can lead a normal life. This is traction alopecia, like so the six, sometimes when they cut their hair, you'll see hair is lost from sides and from top. So this, these are some examples, different sorts of hairlines which can be done. And this is a famous singer, Rohit Johan. Sunidhi Johan Sunaya, you have to say that. And he loves his hair. It can make a tremendous change in the appearance of a man. And today, on Chahe Yana Chahe, appearances make a big difference. Right? Many times nowadays, Parents come with their son, the entire transplant cargo. Why? Shadi karana. Uske baad hair loss hoga to? Koi baat nahi, ekbar shadi hoga to kya? No, it's not like this. Remember, if a person is losing hair, there is a chance that he may keep on losing more hair. Hair transplant is only for hair fanatics. Agar aap yahan hair transplant karate hai and then you lose more hair and you do not get that transplanted then it will look unnatural if you get transplanted in this area and you lose more hair there will be a island of hair in center which is not natural I do not want any person going around like that and then saying if any doctor is a transplant here so that's my selfish motive for not doing such cases Go for a transplant only when you are sure that you will go for further transplants as and when you lose more hair. There is a very famous optic personality who has got a transplant done in only the front area and he has lost all of his hair. Can you tell me his name? Hmm? Good. A few more names. They are all very famous and all are dramatic because you have hair in this area and no hair behind. Salman Khan ka nahi, uno mein toh teen chan baat kada hai. But yes, if you vote Italian politics anyway, burlesque nahi. The Italian Prime Minister I think, he has got it done here. And you can see in the pictures and he is very proud of it. The US Vice President of US, current Vice President of US, Joe Biden. See pictures from the side, you will notice. Pura khali hai, lekin yaan pe transplant hai. Pakistan ke former Nawaz Sharif, Prime Minister de? President de? Prime Minister. 
So he has got it done when he was in exile. Good views of money. Anyway, this is the next thing. We have something for you apart from hair transplant. Now there are many people who want to incorporate knowledge about hair diseases into their practice. So for that we have started what is called the Postgraduate Diploma in Hair Sciences. This is open to graduates of all disciplines, not necessarily science. It will only teach you how to diagnose different hair conditions and what are the different hair conditions. So that if you have any patient who comes to you, you come to know, okay, this is the thing. You should not miss that disease. This is not recognized by the Medical Council of India. It does not give you an additional qualification based on which you may apply for any government job. Remember that. It is just to increase your awareness.